It's really my hope that we can use food as what it was intended for. Nutrition for the human body. You look at the medical costs in this country today, they're astronomical. A large part of that is because we have really narrowed down the choices of the food we're eating, and then the food we're eating does not have the nutrient density that it once had. I think soil health is one of the most misunderstood and one of the most uh, least appreciated of our resources is the soil itself. We need to realize that everything on this earth depends on the soil. You know, when, when uh, these lands were first farmed, when settlers came to this area, it wasn't uncommon right in this particular area for organic matter content of the soil to be anywhere from six, eight, ten percent. Today, much of the cropland is down under one and a half to two percent organic matter or even less. And in production agriculture today, we've accepted a degraded resource. The soils we have in production agriculture today are degraded. And we've just accepted that and we've failed to address that. So it's up to us to regenerate that, build that soil health back and get it to a sustainable state. You have to ask yourself, are you solving a problem or are you just treating a symptom? So often the production model that's used today in agriculture, all it's about is treating symptoms. Instead, they should be addressing the real problem, which is poor soil health. On our operation, we've eliminated the use of synthetic fertilizers on our long-term no-till soil. We've been able to regenerate that soil to the point where it's sustainable and produces the nutrients we need. Those things are all addressed by nature. Nature takes care of it. When you have a healthy ecosystem, you don't need to supply those types of inputs to treat a symptom because you've solved the basic problem, which is poor soil health. And if we can improve soil health to the point that these nutrients can be transferred and supplied to the plants, they're going to be in the foodstuffs that we produce. Everything's tied together, but I think it really has to be driven by the consumer. You know, the farmers and ranchers, they have to make a living. They have to do, put money in their pocket to support their family and their operation. So they're doing what's driven by society. If society as a whole says to the farmers and ranchers, we need to address this. We need to look at, at the nutrient density of our foodstuffs and how it's produced. We need to focus on the quality and the health of our soil. That in turn will tie everything together and we can really use food for what it was intended, and that's human nutrition.